Hello and welcome to Biocode. This is an introduction to Bioinformatics Freelancing Training course. In this course, you are going to learn complete end-to-end -end Bioinformatics training in which you are going to learn how you can earn money using your biology knowledge, using your bioinformatics knowledge, and how you can implement this knowledge uh, on a plethora of services that you can provide as bioinformatician or bioinformatics freelancer. So this is an introduction to the entire course but in this introductory class we are going to deal with the introduction to freelancing introduction to bioinformatics freelancing what services can you sell as a bioinformatician what are the skills that you need to gain beforehand how you can get started with freelancing what are the top flats platforms available for this kind of work where you can uh, portray your services where you can sell your services and what are platformless freelancing and other techniques available in the realm of freelancing so first of all uh, i hope that you understand that you need to build up your bioinformatics skills before you start with bioinformatics freelancing because without gaining a set of skills a required set of skills you cannot actually proceed and this course will make sure that you have the enough or more than enough skills available on your hand so you can sell bioinformatics services but without those skills you cannot actually move forward so i hope this is clear to you right at the introduction of this course so what do you actually learn in this course in this in this course you are going to learn various things but uh, a top of them are what is freelancing what is bioinformatics is freelancing what are the top platforms we need to know what are the top platforms so that we can sell our services to those platforms because of the fact a lot of clients actually approach those websites those platforms f to hire freelancers so we don't want to create accounts on those websites where where no client is approaching so we need to actually figure out the top platforms which we will do in this course and what is platform as freelancing this is very important and uh, what bioinformatics services can you sell how you can uh, gain these bioinformatics services skills how you can learn different pipelines learn different tools learn different methodologies in, in bioinformatics so you can provide those services to the clients all over the world and we will also see case studies on bioinformatics projects we will uh, understand we will go through the project one by one step by step one by one so so you can see how easy it is to get project from the clients comprehend it then actually perform the project complete it and then submit the project to the client so that they can pay you finally we will also see how to find high paying clients all over the world and we will also guide you how to gain complete bioinformatics training in this course and the entire skill sets that we are going to talk about in this course is available to you at no additional cost so you can learn each and everything within this course finally uh, what do you learn in this lecture we will go through three aspects what is freelancing top platforms for freelancing platformless freelancing i keep on saying the third point platformless freelancing it is very important and it's coming of age and a lot of freelancers actually have to get started with this so that they can provide their own services directly to the clients rather than going through a platform we will de deal with that in the further slides so what is freelancing let's let's get it out of the way freelancing basically means that you try and establish a service oriented business and become self employed that you don't actually commit to a company that you are going to come to their office 9 to 5 and you're going to uh, do the work at their desk but what you are going to do is you are going to create a business around your services you are you are going to show that show to the people around the world online that you uh, that okay i i can provide these services please hire me and if they hire you you do their project and then that that is the end of the deal you are not committed to them in a longer time period so generally a freelancer is someone who provides their services their skills or anything that that is tangible that is actually doable for some other persons some other entity uh, to meet their project requirements Generally, a freelancer takes projects from online platforms or even around their communities, for example, colleagues, friends, or family, even families. So, but they, basically, a typical freelance project is something that has to add value in some other person's life or their, or their, 
day to day life so that you can do some of their work and so that they can pay you without any commitment of long term work. So a typical flow of freelance project works like this if you are working on a website if you are working on a uh, on a platform and you basically need to understand the typical flow of a freelance project what you need to do is you need to ac do account setup gig setup we will understand what is a gig in further slides but imagine that you uh, that you have learned how to how to create a chair let's understand this for example you have learned how to create a chair what you do is you go to a website and then you create an account and then you set up a service or for example an advertisement where you are trying to portray that you can create a chair that you can build a chair and let's let's make it more digital so we can assume that you can create and create a digital representation of a chair or an art so you actually portray that on your service or your ad or your gig then a client goes to that website he, he tries to value he or she tries to value that gig and then he approaches you and then you and then he says okay i want you to make three chairs but uh, i would like you to work on a purple color rather than gray color that you actually portrayed in the gig or the advertisement so if you agree with that he will pay you the money but the money will not reach you the money will directly go to the company they will help that payment hold that payment as long as you have not completed the project once you have completed the project you will submit it back to the client the client approves it and the company releases the payment this way both of you are actually on the secure side the company holds the payment the, com and the payment will not go back to the client until unless there is an issue and the 99 percent chances are that the payment is going to come back to you uh, because of the fact that you have completed the project if you have not completed the project obviously you are going to face penalties and the payment will go back to the client so what is freelancing in bioinformatics a freelancer who provides bioinformatics services bioinformatics services can include running a pipeline uh, written projects research paper executions uh, proofreading write-up projects computational analysis or doing molecular docking 3d structure prediction cancer genomics anything that that is bioinformatics anything that you can do in bioinformatics can be sold as a service so someone who takes bioinformatics projects from uh, different clients all over the world and applies their computational skills to complete them for example doing our project doing python project doing bash or linux projects where they have to write a script and then provide the script back to the client so that they can execute in, in it in their own pipeline so this is what it, what it actually means to be a freelancer in bioinformatics so it depends on your foundation of bioinformatics skills without bioinformatics, bioinformatics skills and biology knowledge you can't actually proceed with this type of work because of the fact that it heavily relies on the knowledge that you have related to bioinformatics related to biology uh, different aspects of biology even molecular biology immunology microbiology so, so you need to understand those concepts very well so that you can take projects from clients understand them and then execute them as per their requirements so anyone who is a bioinformatician provides those services as a freelance on a freelancing platform is a freelancer in bioinformatics so example for example let's deal with freelance project examples we will deal with three case studies metagenesis of proteins using bimol biological scripting in python or bash ngs rn sequencing weighted calling cancer genomics we will not actually perform this and uh, we will just go through over them so that you can understand what actual real life projects look like all of these are real life projects that uh, that biocode had done for uh, various clients all over the world so you can understand the, those projects actually actually are in real time in real life where a client will approach